hello everyone professor lohit here today we have the second lecture on cme so today we going to speak on a topic labor production rate and the or you can call it as a productivity so let us check what's the productivity productivity may be defined as the rate of transformation of inputs into outputs in a particular operations in order to that we may produce or a a product or a provide a service which must have a resources in the form of men machines materials money etc in broader sense in our construction the productivity means goods and services produced in relations to the resources utilized in producing the same so that is what we called as a productivity so now how to measure this labor productivity so labor productivity can be defined as the ratio of output and labor input so in other words we can say that it's the productivity of an industry measured in terms of labor input for the purpose of productivity analysis or the average product rather than the marginal this is considered relevant because later the fails to reveal that actual and potential level of the productivity uh, in the representative character so here the input of the labor may be taken as the number of workers or a man hours worked during the period clear and this ratio may be computed for one worker or might be group of the workers in unit of the work or for the plant as whole depending upon the need okay and there might be another way to measure the labor product is for giving for a given work or a group of the workers during a job uh, the enterprise fixes a certain target volume of the output in a given day or a some time or period the actual volume of the output produced by the worker during the period is compared with what whatever the target or the standard volume they producing or the product is out of output for assessing the labor productivity and uh, uh, the definitions of the labor productivity is given above what it says us to that what is suggest that in fact this is the way to measure the total productive work and not of the labor productivity in alone this is clear so this is what you called we seen around the what is productivity and what is the labor productivity and how it is measured let us see the some factors uh, affecting the labor output or the productivity so let us see one by one the first is overtime so overtime is the schedule of extended of the work uh, sometimes in days or weeks or month exceeding a standard 8 hour work or uh, per week 40 hours work lowers the what work output and efficiency through the uh, why the labor get physically fatigue and the poor mental mental attitude of the labor that causes the work in not proper that is what when you have a over time next is morally and the attitude the what of the spirit of the workers based on the willingness how much they want to do the work confidence uh, and discipline and the cheerfulness to perform the work or any kind of a task can be lowered due to the variety of issues including the increased conflicts dispute excessive hazards over time or over inspections multiple contract changes disruption of the work rhythm or poor site conditions these what makes uh, the what uncapped workspace this what makes on the moral attitude of the workers will decrease so you have to take care of this next it's also depend upon the work complexity third it's third one in work complexity simple family work it is what easier to execute than unknown or unfamiliar complex one so the extra effort need to be given for those kind of the work which is unfamiliar especially in the initial initial stages may range from what 10 to 100% of normal expected productivity will not get it next repetition of the work if the works while the first time the execution is obviously in unfamiliar 
if that same work you want to going to repeat it again and again what happen the skill of the labor increases that gives you what improved productivity will keep get it next quality work uh, so quality work so in quality work the supervision or the what worry of the higher authority will be more to gain in those conditions what so for example the quality control in a sensitive projects like in a construction of nuclear reactors calls for what frequently inspection which involves elaborated documentation will be there and that is time consuming task so this increases non productive time of the workers and in in result of this it reduces the productivity around 10 to 25% and next is equipment intensive tasks uh, what in the equipments the construction equipment executes work speedily but it needs operators okay without operator you know any of any kind of the equipment will not run the equipment intensive tasks are less susceptible to the productivity changes than the labor intense intensive ones okay it's not about the equipment even the who the runner is the operator has to be have the more intensive ones the next is supervision an efficient and effective supervision can get higher productivity from labors okay next uh, dilutions of the supervision and uh, this occurs when supervision is divulged from the productive planned and scheduled work to analyze and plan contract changes or expanded delayed materials manage added crews or other added uh, labors other changes not in the original workspace or a schedule the dilution also caused by the increase in manpower sometimes a work area where the work is in congested area or not or the project size without any increase in supervision that that leads to the dilution of the supervision next labor availability the labor availability productivity is also depends upon the employment opportunities available in the current scenarios on a market if the jobs are plenty and the laborers are scarce then obviously the labor productivity tends to becomes less in uh, scale situations the overall productivity improves improves uh, what since the employers can then sort out the labor with a light productivity next mobilize or demobilize the this relates to the move, moving resources like any equipment uh, resources or manpower and the moving off to the project as a result from change it obviously changes or delays causes what uh, work disruptions the productivity may drop during this period as the time is lost when the crew moves from one area to other work assignment so that what reduces the uh, delays the productivity next is errors and uh, omissions so increase in error and omissions impact on labor productivity because the changes are then usually performed on the crash basis out of this sequence causes dilutions of the supervisions or another any other negative impacts next is uh, start and stop so the result from a work stoppage or the suspension of the work which may cause the break in the schedule and usually triggering a start or stop of the work activity now the stop starts can have the impact on obviously productivity and the cost of the projects even next is site access the this results of uh, interference to the convenient or planned access to the work areas this can be due to the blocks any of the stairways roads walkways or insufficient man lifts or the work area is very uh, what place in a congested work sites okay these might lead in a productivity might be reduced next uh, hazardous work areas and this is caused when the working in an area that is classified as hazardous Uh, require special safety equipments and the clothings restrictions may limit that time and exposure of work to the area resulting in the less time on the tools in hazardous areas sometimes they ask you to work only with such certain kind of the equipments certain type of the productions 
and the working hours also they mentioned four hours or five hours so daily you can work only the four to five hours at the particular hazards area that might lead to the less productivity is not normal area the productivity might be increased clear the next is climate and weather conditions so performing the work in a change of seasons the temperature zones or the climatic changes results in the work performed in either very hot or very cold weather like rain snow other changes in the temperature so the climate can impact the workers beyond the normal conditions since the construction project has spread over several month or even years it is necessary to adjust the the effect of weather changes month by month or the workers productivity as well as the work executions so we know that when you go for the any kind of the road works what happen the road works can be done in a summer or the winter season more properly so when it is in a rainy seasons the any kind of the road work is not possible this you have to look after into the while scheduling the project and that will be gives you the what the kind of the productivity can be gained by the labors lastly the role of the management the project management has a key role to play in planning and controlling the productivity it is responsible specifically specifying the weekly target of the work to be accomplished by the workers as well as the how the workers has to be executed using the resources available okay and this is the what labor productivity or labor rate and this is the completion of the half model now so in next video we can start with the construction equipments thank you for patience hearing